The truth of life and death reveals the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Time to twirl! Preparation. Found. Move carefully. Good job. Yeah. What are you looking at? <laughs> Naughty child. Do you know who I? This big diamond. It's all yours. Now. Your fighting is meaningless. Good stuff! Huh. Time to twirl! 
Time for a shot. <laughs> The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Let's go! Yeah. Honored to meet me! Rules are made to be broken! This is our chance. Huh. Time to twirl! No interest in conflict. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to twirl! <laughs> to repent.
Victory means preparation. Found. Do you know who I- This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to get vigilant! <laughs> Let's go! Time for a shot. Nap time. Let's make it quick. Everything is ordained by the star of stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Rules are made to be broken. Broken. Delicate operation.
I'll need to record today's notes in the data bank. Come around and have a look! at the usual place this weekend. Worth our while.
Ready? Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
At daybreak, the guardian shall be a glittering star, illuminating the people's path. At nightfall, the guardian shall be a flickering flame, comforting the people's soul. Oh, so many years. Have I been following lies this whole time? Hey, maybe you should find someone to talk to. <laughs> Don't let it get you down. You can share your feelings with others, you know? Do you think keeping it all to yourself is doing you any good? You let that status of yours go to your head, huh? <laughs> Afraid to show weakness? That's why you're keeping so much bottled up inside, right? This isn't the overworld. We don't do envy and etiquette down here. Whatever's on your mind, you can say it. I just want to be clear in myself first. These fragments of history, the teachings I studied, it's all muddled together in my mind. I just... I don't know what I should believe. No, you just have to be clear on what you should do. You've spent long enough living in lies, Branya. This is your chance to break out of the cage. <sighs> How's it going, partner? Is that feeling in your chest the thrill of victory or just the joy of making it out alive? I know your heart is bursting with gratitude, but there's no need to thank me. We have what I'd like to call a fiscal friendship. If the money's right, not a problem in sight. Ha! I knew that you'd get yourselves into trouble eventually, so I got Oleg to send relief in advance. Pretty sensible, right? My pleasure! Friends should look out for each other. Good for business. Here's a slice of life experience for you. Resourceful businessmen never get into risky trading without a plan B. And a plan B for their plan B. Plan C, we call that. Easy there. Don't get mushy on me now. We professional types don't have time for thank yous. It's business. Feelings don't come into it. Ha ha ha! You see? Gotcha! <laughs> Seriously though, Sampo will always be happy to assist you. Furnace core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. <laughs> Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and 
And for that, you have my utmost thanks. <laughs> when the Underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we Undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the Underground. If she detects any change in the Underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. Of course, there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. It seems like the intel we got from Svarog caused her a significant shock. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Svarog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Take a good rest while you still can. Your adventures on the surface won't be easy going. Don't be surprised. My job is just to help everyone make the right calls. You remember Rivet Town? When the Fragmentum Corrosion first appeared, we were defenseless. We didn't have a clue how to protect our homes. After we fled to Boulder Town, I made up my mind. A tragedy like that could never be allowed to happen again. That's why I gathered Oleg and the others together, and created the first sparks of Wildfire. Afterwards, Wildfire began to grow. To be honest, I never thought a day like this would come. <laughs> what do you mean? That's me too, you know. The me that my patients see, at least. Our identities are like masks. When we switch between them, we change the way the world perceives us. But our hearts never change. Well, we don't want to act before the situation has stabilized. We need to wait for the right time. Ten years of being sealed away has sapped the Underworld's vitality. Now that the Furnace Core is no longer blocked off, we need to prioritize the people and replenish our resources. Wildfire has never been in this for its own gain. Everything we do is for the citizens of the Underworld. That passage is a means to an end, not the end itself. We'll leave them be. Svarog may have blocked off the Furnace Core, but he's provided shelter to the Vagrants from the beginning. An admirable deed. There are many homeless people in the Underworld. If they had safety and security, they wouldn't have to struggle to survive. 
Wildfire can provide that while Svarog is recovering. Things have settled for now. You should rest while you can. Equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium. Yes, equilibrium. The arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a trial. For the equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. The strong will be given greater opportunities. The weak, a chance to breathe. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards. After Equilibrium, you will go on to face yet more trials. Equilibrium. It is for this that all worlds change. that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. <sighs> but thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. We promised her that our talks with Sfarog would go peacefully. You tried your best. Don't blame yourself. I should have considered such a situation in advance. And it was Svarog who attacked first. We didn't have any other choice. Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. 
But we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance... Exactly. There must be a reason for this sudden change in her attitude. And... We still don't have the coordinates and location of the Stellaron. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Dreams? Oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. All three dreams were the same, with Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random, if there is some meaning behind them. Huh. Maybe you're having them because... Because of the Stellaron inside her? That's my hunch, but I have no proof. Well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. You're back! I've heard from Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Zvarog. Amazing. It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest.
Over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town. And it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of 10, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. Oh, that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Ugh, you're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? Uh, right. Uh, what I meant was... Uh, I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Bronya. This is against the Architect's admonishments, Bronya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Bronya. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped. When every choice and every goal has already been made for you. <laughs> you probably can't imagine how that feels. No, I can't. But more importantly, what kind of foul language are you using? <sighs> In the name of the Architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. <laughs> that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. No. No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future Guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. There is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds. We can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the Eternal Freeze and the Fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is... Very important to me. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but... As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. Why does my mother hide it from me, and why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't make sense. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. You... Hold on. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... Branya. 
This is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. <sighs> okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But, remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. Then I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. <sighs> Very nice. a good sleep. I should go meet up with March and Denhong. Took you long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. Hmm. Did you have a dream again last night? weird. I bet the conductor won, right? Well then, let's go find Wildfire to discuss her next move and see if they have any new discoveries. Let's go! I can't wait to finally get back above ground! It's pitiless! You're annoying! <laughs> Time for... Show no mercy! Told you I could fight! <laughs> There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder! Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless! Show 
Show no mercy. Told you I could fight. What's wrong? Afraid of what I... <laughs> Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move! Should I observe? Want to see what I can do? Dodge this! This is our chance. Take this! To rise, beat it! Who's next? Yeah. No more playing nice. <laughs> no more playing nice. Dodge this. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Attack yesterday. <laughs> Let's make it quick. A thousand wonders to <laughs> fight as one. Huh. Uh. Can we talk? <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. chance huh. welcome customers <laughs> yeah Mm hmm. 
Move carefully. Let's go. What's wrong? Afraid of what I might do? <laughs> Here! I've no interest in Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! Fighting is meaningless. Broken. Told you I could fight. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Let's go. I've no interest in conflict. <clears throat> Tough luck running into the <laughs> Try that again. Oh, look who's here. It's the Bane of Sfarag, the big hero of the underworld. And the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7th. Were those lines rehearsed? Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to, so I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. I speak on behalf of Natasha. By the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a secret. <laughs> hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> My apologies. Natasha is always cautious, but she has no ill intent, as you must have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fellow for help. I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. There's no need to knock us out this time, right? Of course not. This time, we'll go back through the furnace core. That would be problematic and dangerous. Trust me, we should go through the furnace core. Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guide. Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? She already went back. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. What? She just ditched us and went back? How could you let her? Exactly. She has a lot of responsibilities. I don't completely understand, but I trust that she's trying to solve the problem. Oh, right. Branya told me to give you this. She left us a letter. Hmm. Could this be one of those open in case of emergency letters? I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? Stop overthinking and just open it. Brother and sister Landau? I know the brother must refer to Jepard, but who could the sister be? Oh, Sir Val! So she's Jepard's older sister. She gave it some good thought. But whatever's going on in that Supreme Guardian's head... Even Branya might have trouble understanding. Sampo, do you know the Landau siblings? Landau? Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past, but the sister? <laughs> She's much scarier. Uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. We can set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready. Found your weakness! 